of the nursing process include that this is cyclic and dynamic rather than static. That means in terms of nursing process, uh, the phases are interdependent and interrelated. And as the patient's condition or uh, status changes, that again, we will modify and um, revisit respective phases of the nursing process. Again, it is client-centered and involves problem solving and systems theories. Again, an integral uh, component with regard to the nursing process is decision making. In addition, we look at this as involving interpersonal and collaborative relationships. Uh, nursing process has universal applicability and again involves critical thinking skills. Again, the model here represents uh, nursing process with the initial or first step being that of assessing. Assessing consists of collecting data, organizing the data, validating the data, and also to document the data that has been obtained. Uh, there are four types of assessment involved in this. These can include the initial nursing assessment, a problem-focused assessment, emergency assessment, and time-lapsed reassessment. And I will go and give um, definitions and examples of each of these. With regard to the initial assessment, this would be performed within a specified time period. For instance, many healthcare facilities will indicate that with regard to the initial nursing assessment, that this must be completed in a specific time frame, perhaps eight hours. Uh, the purpose of this is to establish a complete database. The second type of assessment is problem focused. Again, with this type of assessment, this is an ongoing process which is integrated with care. For instance, this could um, include the individual's chief complaint, the reason that they presented for health care. And again, we would be looking at a continued evaluation of this. It determines the status of a specific problem. With emergency assessment, this would be performed during physiologic or psychological crisis. So again, this is going to be tailored to the individual situation. It will, is used to identify life-threatening problems, and also it is used to identify new or perhaps overlooked problems. And the fourth type of assessment is time-lapsed. You can think of this as being done at an interval. This occurs several months after the initial assessment. And again, it's used to compare uh, the individual's current status to the previous baseline. With collecting data, this involves gathering information about a client's health status. Again, with regard to this, it needs to be both systematic and also continuous. It should include uh, and address the individual's past history as well as the current problem. This